Every time you pull up at this corral gate, you land, you're nagging that mud puddle and splash me all over. Just look at me. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack, but you're so full of mud all the time, no one would notice a difference. Well, found you. I think you do it on purpose. Now I'm double sorry you feel that way. Gosh, I wouldn't play a dirty trick like that. Mm. Well, uh, I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings, but it looked powerful like it. Well, being as how we're both sorry, let's have a tune and call it square. Well, agreed. But don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Happy when you have music like that. Who could stay blue? Are you, boss? <laughs> say, boys. boss, you're just entitled to prevent a mudslinging contest between Curly and myself. What you don't <laughs> mean to tell me that you and Curly have come to the point of slinging mud at each other? Curly. Well, uh... <laughs> no, just splashing it at each other, boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a better way. If you must have mud, get down and roll in. Oh, it. I got even a better way than that. Let's sing a song about rolling along, huh? Well, I will admit that's a cleaner way anyway. Come on, fellas, start yeah, rolling. Yeah, come <laughs> on, give me a hand. When cats pursue me, I'm never gloomy. I keep on singing this song. Though the clouds hang low, I'll have and woe and go roll, roll, rolling along. No need to hurry, no need to worry. The things are gonna go wrong. Like the birds that sing, a dream of spring as I'm roll, roll, rolling along. Give me the moon for a blanket, give me the stars overhead. I'll make the mountain my doorstep, I'll make the desert my bed. I'll in the hours, among the flowers, I'll stay away from the throng. Let it rain or shine. The world is mine as I'm roll, roll, rolling along. Say, Bob, boss. a good song, yes, sir, which reminds me of one of my favorites that's just a little different. Well, uh... It's about the same, uh, same name, anyhow. Well, uh, look, boss, would it be asking too much to have you tell us the name of that song, huh? No, I guess not. It's called Rolling Home. Oh. Would it be asking you too much to have you sing it for us, Bill? <laughs> no, I guess not. Well, Bill. come on, then, man. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here once more the song of the seven seas I used to roam. Let me hear once more the bells of the evening breeze calling me home, calling me a home. Break a sigh, seem to cry. They tell me that the boys on the X Bar Tour are getting up a little dancing party and that we all is going to get an inv- uh, invite to join them. You do, At last, see. my chance has come to show all these cowpokes how to really do the forward and back. See, yeah. you wouldn't by any chance be including me in that statement, would you, Curly? If the boot pinches, cut a hole in it. Say, <laughs> boys, spread some of that dance music around on this here prairie and watch me bury this corpse. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you like company so well. I, I just got an idea that you ought to invite all your friends out here for a party when the desert flowers are in bloom, you know? That would be fine, Jack, except for one thing. What's that, boss? Well, that there might be so many people that there wouldn't be room for the desert flowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, such being the case, uh, would there be any harm in singing and telling them all about it? Well, as far as I can see, none whatsoever, Well, Jack. come on, let's start planting them flowers right now. Well, then. I'll come on. say so. That you'd return in the spring She's waiting still Your promise fulfilled Doesn't it mean anything? Oh, the floor of the valley Is covered with bloom And the sides of the There's the hum of the bees and the sighs from the trees. There's the laughter in each rippling stream. And each feather throne sings a love song you wrote. Their songs fill each nook in the glen. And those two eyes of blue, they are longing for you. It's spring in the Rockies again. Oh, my, oh, my, that is a dandy song, boys. Sort of makes me sentimental and poetic. And I'll <laughs> bet you my best gun the boss has written a poem that'll fit. And if he reads it, I'll have two feathers. Hey, boy, <laughs> get a pail of water and throw on Jack, and if he starts foaming at the mouth, let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about your gardens that each spring you make by hand. You can rave about your pansy bed and the richness of your land. You can praise your sweet pea patches, glads and roses, asters too, and your ferns and flocks and dragons, yes, 
They all look good to you. Now, don't you for a minute think that I'm a finding fault? I sure agrees they're purty. And I'd hate to call a halt on planting lovely flowers that lends beauty to the sod. But have you seen the desert flowers that were planted there by God? Yeah, that was right pretty, boy. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Jack didn't like the looks of that pail of water. Well, I think he was more concerned with the looks of the boy's eyes. That's why he got <laughs> powerful busy and walked away. Yeah, you know, I sort of expected to hear him sing goodbye, Dolly Gray, I must leave you. Well, before he gets a chance, let's beat him to the draw. Let's sing it first. Well, I'm relieved. <laughs> Goodbye, Dolly, I must leave you, though it breaks my heart to go. Something tells me I am needed at the front to fight the foe. See, the soldier boys are marching, and I can no longer stay. Hark, I hear the bugle calling, goodbye, Dolly Gray. I've come to say goodbye, Dolly Gray. It's no use to ask me why, Dolly Gray. There's a murmur in the air. You can hear it everywhere. It is time to do and dare, Dolly Gray. Goodbye, Dolly, I must be you. Oh, it breaks my heart to go. Something tells me I am needed at the front to fight the fall. And I can no longer stay. Hark, I hear the bugle calling. Goodbye, Dolly Gray. Come back and see us sometime soon again, won't you, friends? So long. 